Hey, y'all. Welcome back. I didn't figure my little cute thing I was going to say to bring back. But we're here. How y'all doing? Ooh, yeah. I'm still, like, debating about the audience. But, you know what I mean? Like, the big crowd of people. Because there's people here that are not saying anything. Hey, y'all. Uh, whatever. See, let's try it again one time next week or whatever. Um, so we got into a big fight with the neighbors yesterday. We've been around that motherfucker for probably less than a season, and we got into a big fight with the neighbors. I, it's not. I don't think it's a shocker. I'm a vlogger to the people at home who I vlog to daily. Um, if you can fucking find me on social media after my page is getting deleted over and over and over and over and over out of racism. Nothing else but that. You know what I mean? But you know that Amina, my eldest child, the pretty one, all right, she's such a sweet Virgo. She is so perfect, very manipulative, very manipulative. She's 5'6". I'm 5'7". She's 10. So you know what that means? In black households, when your height gets close to your parent, your parent automatically tries to rumble you. Like, they... They size you up. What's up? What? What? You know what I mean? To let you know, just because you my height, I'll fuck you up. You feel me? So that's where I am with my daughter, reminding her constantly, like, we can go down at any time, whatever you want to do. Because she's she's attitudinal. You know what I mean? She's moody. Because she's 10. Fuck. She's 11. She's 11. Her birthday's September the 10th. <laughs> you see what happens after you have more than one? It's like... Whatever. Birthday, Schmirk Day. She's 11. She's a really sweet kid. Love her to death. Um, I feel like I grew up with her for sure. But she she is so not a fighter. She's just not that, you know what I mean, that kid. And that's totally cool. Understanding that she's a different person than, than I am. Understanding that I don't own her. You know what I mean? It's like, team, don't call me right girl. I own them. These two niggas here, I own them. I don't own my kid. You know what I'm saying? I own my team. You feel me? I don't own my kid. My kid is going to be a person with a personality. She's going to do her own thing. And maybe she won't fight people, Phelps. Maybe that's not in her destiny. She let these brolic ass brunette white girls call her nigger on the bus on the way home for fucking 20 minutes. She was so, like, upset about it. She's like, Mommy, I've only read about that on the Internet. I didn't know racism was real. I said, baby, and we cried. No, I told her to take the girl hair and wrap it around her hand and punch her face if she has to. That's the actual truth of what I said. Face to face. I'm like, yo, worst come to worst, get physical. You know what I mean? She was like, oh, mom, no, whatever. A little laughter to break up the monotony of racism. She cried. Her feelings were hurt. You know what I'm saying? They in the back of her, and they're like, Nigger, nigger this, nigger that. Can you say nigger in Spanish? Dumbass kids. Negro, right? Or is that not nigger? Yeah. So there is no nigger in Spanish. Thank God we have somebody bilingual here. Trap's bilingual. So what, how do you say nigger in Spanish? Qualingual. You're qualingual, which would mean four piece. Quadling. You're qualingual. How do you say nigger in Spanish? Nigger. Just flat out nigger. All right. Um, those little dumbass brunettes didn't know because they're dumbass bitches and they rode the bus and they tortured my child. Oh my God. PTSD. I, we're going to have to file a lawsuit. Unfortunately, we're going to have to file a lawsuit and have them arrested. That's what we've decided at the house. There's no way to get past that without a full on lawsuit and a fucking march. Do I hear we shall overcome? Do I hear it? We shall overcome. Sounds like a protest to me. <laughs> Sounds like fuck Third grade, we protesting today. That's the bullshit that my children had to deal with that in 2021. It was very upsetting. But those kids belong to the whites that live diagonal from us. You know what I mean? It's not like I'm counting, counting, but we're surrounded by whites. It's us, our black asses in the middle of whites. Everybody seemed friendly. One of the white girls has locks. You know what that means. She smoked weed, shit. You know what I mean? She got tats. She might have had a heroin thing. Whatever. I'm judgy. I judge people. How else are you supposed to get to know motherfuckers around your way? Know who you could talk to and who you can't. If you're not going to judge them from the outside for like 30 days. Either way, these whites I've totally avoided. Smush, who is my son, my second kid. I have two. He befriended one of their kids. 
He knocked on the door. Phelps, you were there. They knocked on it. The guy comes to the house, and he's totally pissed. Like, is this your kid? But my son runs in my yard first, and he looks afraid. Then before I could even ingest that part, I look up, and there's a fat white man. I say fat because white men don't do well fat. You know what I mean? They do not. White people, period, don't do well with struggle. We're talking about niggas getting their ass whooped all day long. Beating in the hot sun, barefoot, picking cotton, and we still got little songs and shit. <laughs> we special, baby. We make torture look good. You know what I mean? Poverty, we make that shit look nice. You know what I mean? I know a lot of poor motherfuckers with Cubans on. They shining, man. You know what I mean? No car, BV, but they got a Cuban on. You know what the fuck that mean? That mean your selfie going up. I don't give a fuck what time you post it. You hear me? Bitches are fucking because you got a Cuban on. That's my people. No money in debt, Cuban. SRT on the repo list, baby. But we riding that motherfucker. In the words of the great, Boosie badass, gas tank on E, all drinks on me, nigga. You feel me? I love my fucking people, and that's not a fucking joke. And we make that sad, sappy shit look good. In fact, we put a beat to it. Call it the blues, nigga. You know that? We created that shit. We created rock and roll. Chuck Berry. Chuck Berry was hitting teenage white women back then. None of this shit is new. We've been out here. <sighs> I say all that to say, I knew I was going to have a run-in with the motherfucking neighbors. As I was stating before, Rashad looked afraid, and when I looked up, that white man was in my face, angry, saying, is this your kid? Is this your kid? My son is brown-skinned, and he looks exactly like his mother. He has my lips. He does. He has my lips. The boy looks just like me. He has my lips, and he has these eyes. You thought they were bags. I get them from my grandmother. You concealed them. We just, she does my makeup as well. This lady's talented, producer, whatever. We're going to put her name. Put her name at the bottom. She can beat your fucking face and click, click, click out your stretch marks at that picture, can't you? You're talented. You're talented, and I love you for that. She embarrassed because she laugh a lot. She got a big old ghetto laugh. <laughs> she don't want to let us hear it. She holding it in. Either way, I already knew the motherfucker was on some shit because that day is that your kid. It just screamed, get your black ass child out of my yard. You know what I mean? I'm like, yes, this is my kid. And I held Rashad by the shoulder while he snarled at that man. I'm like, he's like, we have a dog. We don't want the dog to bite your kid. Keep your kid out of our yard. I'm like, all right. I turned to Rashad and said, don't fuck with them. They're not friendly. You know what I mean? And now this, royal fucking rumble in the cul-de-sac. Starring, don't call me white girl on her fucking mom. And I'm going to tell you this. The mom was the ignorant one. My mom totally went overboard. Like, she was totally wrong. Like, I couldn't say it to her face-to-face, -face, but in front of, like, thousands, millions of people, I'll say she was wrong. She overreacted. Oh, my God. She went crazy. But you got to think, we're black. We know your kid says nigger. We know we're, my kid's not allowed in your yard already, and now you're knocking at the door with a white man issue. What's a white man issue? Whose car is that? You know what I mean? Car's not on his property. Car's nowhere near his house, really. It's across the street. But it's black-owned, so clearly it's cocaine in that motherfucker. Who car is that? That's what they came with. Who car? And that's the thing. I'm not fucking around here. White people have superiority complexes. White people feel in control of every fucking thing. A white person will come up to you about where you parked. Like they work for the parking authority. Dead serious. Do you know that's a handicap you're parked in? How dare you? It's people that need it could be 10 handicaps. Doesn't matter. They're totally offended that your black ass had the balls to park a handicap. You know what I mean? Me, don't do well with it. Surprisingly or not, it kind of pisses me off. Don't tell me what to do, Mr. White Man. You ain't nobody to me. And it's not 1965. And I don't come from that. And if I was that, I wouldn't be with the group of niggas getting the milkshakes poured on them. You hear what I'm saying? I would have been down, you know, your boy. Okay, with it, we didn't land on Planet Rock. Planet Rock, arm yourself. That's where I would have been. I hate when we get into that because, like, you don't really know because it's the whole time. It's like it's not like people were pussy 
You know, if anything, you were more insane if you had the heart to stand up to a white person. But I just know naturally I have always had an issue with authority. There's no way I'm going to let you pour this milkshake on me without coming up with something. You know what I mean? Fuck that shit. Kill that noise. (sighs) Either way, the guy knocked and he's like, oh, is this your car? And I I kid you not, my mother's response was... um, Get the fuck off my, get the fuck out of, what the fuck are you doing here? Get the fuck off my my property. Straight there. She didn't even like tiptoe around. And she was like, what the fuck are you doing here? Get the fuck off my property. And he was like, I'm white, bitch. You know, I'm white. Like, who are you talking to? It was like, wait, 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 you know. And um, I'm from the old school. I'm with the one being, one sound thing. So I'm back at my mom. Do I think my mom's wrong? Yes, she's irate, actually. But it's like, fuck it. And I think y'all should back your people, too. You at Walmart, your sister swing on the lady, you wrestling with your sister to get off the lady. No, y'all jump the lady. Where's the morals at with people? Like, stick together and go to jail together. You know what I mean? Um, But, yeah, it was a big fight. It was terrible. It was, like, ten of them. They had pitchforks. They had a burning cross. It was horrible. And um, I took my mom in the house and we prayed. And the police come. They probably came to beat us, but we hid in the house. And we made it, you know what I'm saying? But it's hard being black in America. But I bop, that's the story, and that's not a joke. Do no 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 cue music. We're still dealing with racism. Phelps did this, so I dragged that story out. I think it was fights would happen. You know what I mean? I might have audio from the fight. Who wants to hear it? You know what you said at the beginning of this racism shit. What is that? I own these people. Yes, I do own you guys. It's a joke. It's just a joke. Y'all are humans. How can I own you when you didn't show up for work for two days, you? You know what I mean? And this guy back talks constantly. So how do I own y'all? You know what I'm saying? At least I showed up. It makes you better than him. Don't you forget. Come on. He the one. He's my favorite for sure. He's my favorite. I was on live with her yesterday. She told me I didn't show up. You just tell stories. You didn't show up. We're busy. Let's move on. Um. So look, Lizzo said that Chris Brown was her favorite and everybody got upset. That's what Tom said. You know what I mean? That's what Tom said. Tom said everybody was upset with Lizzo. I feel like people give Lizzo a lot of shit because she's fat. Simple and plain. If she wasn't fat, they wouldn't fuck with her so much. Americans don't like fat people, even though we're the fattest on the con- in the world. Like, out of all the continents, there's nobody fatter than us. You know what I mean? I think Texas is, like, number one in the fat asses. No disrespect to Texas or Memphis or whatever it is. But we like deep fry, super fry. You know what I mean? Extra Lord, baby, super size, mate. Boop, boop. We like buffets for the love of God. The thought of a buffet makes me nauseous. I do like fried stuff, fried ice cream, fried cheesecake. But it's like we're fat as fuck, and then once you get fat, it's like, oh, you need to take care of yourself, girl. You don't love yourself, which is total bullshit. I was way more healthy when I was a fat girl. I don't know if y'all know that at home. I used to weigh 285 pounds. Dramatic pause. 285 pounds. Five seven. Dre is fucked up. You me pull these pictures out? Dre is like, bitch. No, I kid you not. I used to weigh 285 pounds. Let me get a picture for Dre. Um, always was a big, thick one. Had a fat ass. You know what I mean? My ass was fat. Miss her. She was crazy. You know what I'm saying? And um, I had hips and I had a little weight, so it wasn't like, you know. Like, I didn't have a hard time following a guy, Dre. Because you look shocked here. I'm 5'7", so, like, the weight kind of fits me different. But I wore, like, 18 women. I wore 18 or 16 women. Um, I always wore Spanx. Coochie was always sweaty because I would have so much stuff on trying to contain me. So it would just be a very hot sweat. And I would like to say, like, fat girls really claim the wet pussy, wet pussy, but is it sweat? (laughs) That's what we want to know, ladies. Big Mama, you listening to me. Is your kitty cat wet or is it sweaty, mommy? Tell me. Tell me in the message box. Put the number at the bottom, Dre, so they could call and tell me if they're if their kitty cats are um that's a selfie. I took a lot of stuff because big bitches don't take full bodies. Can you tell that I weigh 280 pounds? I'm a Muslim. That's a chemo on me. I'm blowing your mind today, aren't I? You didn't know that about me. You need to get to know me. Okay? Do you want to see too? You want to see Big Mama? She's a cutie. Isn't she? She was a fucking cutie. And I must say, since I lost the weight, if since I lost the weight, I look older. I lost weight in my face. It gave me these. I don't like them. I didn't even know I had these till I went viral. Thanks to you bitches at home. 
Wow. Won't y'all point out stuff like my side tube, my laugh lines. Ooh, they're so, the internet's vicious. The internet's vicious. People don't like what fat girl Lizzo said about Chris Brown because the internet's vicious. If Lizzo was smaller, they wouldn't give a fuck about what Lizzo said. But Chris Brown did tap Rihanna upside the head 20 years ago. Trap said that to, that if you really look into the case, she gave him gonorrhea. Is that what you said? Probably. I, I don't know too much about the police report. I don't really, that's not my... Uh... Okay. Your expertise. Okay. But you said police reports say that they would be fighting all the time. Usually, he usually called on her majority of the time. And this is a trap fact. All trap facts are questionable. You know what I'm saying? We roll with them depending on the mood of the podcast. But in general, at home, don't come back with I Google it or whatever. Bitch, I already said that. It's a trap fact. If I put the trap fact on it, then you know what's going on. Um, I, Why can't we forgive Chris Brown, Tom? Like, how long does it take for somebody? You know what I mean? Your boy pop lock and dropping his skinny as shit. I feel like Rihanna already forgave him. So if she forgives him. You think she fucks him sometimes? Nah, she's with uh, ASAP. Right, he can't do that. Oh, they go together? And ASAP ain't in his DMs trying to get revenge, so she must have forgave him. I don't know how I feel about ASAP and Rihanna. That's a fly ass couple, though. They could dress. She's just with the billionaire, the Russian billionaire or something like that. She's with everybody. See how they do women? You see how they do it? Tom said, and I quote, she's with everybody. But I love Rihanna. But I love Rihanna. But that's how they do women. If you are a woman of some substance and you fuck the manager from Chick-fil-A, they're going to drag your ass. And if you're the lady like Rihanna and you fuck three rappers, they're going to call you a hoe. You're damned if you do, damned if you don't. I want to let everybody know I'm going to be fucking rappers. That, I think we touched base on that the last episode. We don't have to revisit it. Do y'all think, man, sexual freedom. Woo -woo. Phelps, man of the times, baby. Pop that pussy. If I have any regret, I regret not popping the pussy. We already talked about that. Let's move the fuck on. Yeah, I'm not mad at Lizzo for not being mad at Chris for blah, blah, blah. I want y'all to pay attention to that at home. Like, in America, we love fucking ruining people and, like, grinding them up to the lowest piece of shit, and then we pick them back up. You know what I mean? We love, like, a, you know? Like a Rocky story, you get beat up, then you win at the end. Adrian, you know, that's what we like here. But that's why it's bullshit. You shouldn't fall into that. Stop being such a bully and hating people because everybody tells you you're supposed to hate them. It's like everybody tells me I'm not supposed to listen to R. Kelly. Don't they? And I had somebody at home message me and ask me, what do I think about the whole R. Kelly situation and pedophilia in general? I think that the situation with R. Kelly is twofold because R. Kelly is a rich, powerful man in his industry. That takes precedence over anything, money, you know. So you can have certain things done and put away or whatever. I also think that he was like a total sicko. And I almost think that the people around him were worse because they just helped. R. Kelly came to Delaware when I was like a teenager and I lived in Delaware at the time. And he was in the mall with security. And then when you read the stories, that that's how he got kids. Like, that nigga really got, I mean, he was in Delaware. Like, who the fuck goes to the mall in Delaware? There was nothing in the mall. It's still nothing in the mall in Delaware. If you at home and you're in Delaware, you offended. Fuck you, because you know it's true. It's nothing there. Even in Nordstrom, there's nothing inside the Nordstrom's. There's nothing there. It's like a big, I don't know, for Wi-Fi. I guess a Wi-Fi spot, because there's no clothes or shoes or anything. You know what I mean? But, um... He totally was looking for kitty pussy, you know what I'm saying? He was a sicko, but, you know, his money afforded him to be able to do that. I think his race has a lot to do with why he was caught, you know? I think people in the industry do that kind of shit a lot, but I just, you know, it just, it meant the parents that was, like, selling them niggas off and the security that's, like, working and getting, oh, get me eighth graders today. Like, what the fuck? It takes a whole team of people. That's like y'all, if I decide to start fucking 11th grade boys. Y'all are going to have to go find them for me. You know what I mean? Like, if I wanted to start fucking high schoolers, y'all gonna have to stay in line for the Jordans. I'm gonna have to buy them Jordans. Money not that important. That I'm so you're gonna say no when I say find me 11th grader? Yes. Even if he's 6'5"? Yes. Well, don't he got morals? You're fire. Because your loyalty off. I'm not gonna molest anybody's son. Like, I don't do that. You gotta be 21. Up. You know what I mean? I'm with that, though. Fuck that. Y'all do it. These niggas got young girl. Why can't me a young nigga? I had a nigga 24. Beat that. I ain't ashamed. I'm not ashamed. We couldn't talk about shit. 
He ain't know nothing. I don't know how men date those young bitches. You don't, what are you talking about? This bitch doesn't have a clue about anything. You know what I mean? Like, we don't, <laughs> like, what? You know? Like, if you don't know a biggie verse, it's like, I can't fuck you. You know what I mean? No? If you don't know a line from Juice, can't fuck you. I'm not one of them old niggas from the 90s riding around with the young joint in my black. If you're young, your time is very limited because the conversation is, I know what you mean. So you're a fucker, but not talk to her? Not as much as I'm going to talk to somebody who I know I can. How old does she have to be to get some of that felt stick? <laughs> Keep it a bit. 21. <laughs> I'm with you, baby. We're going on the road. We're going on the road. We're getting young dicks. But you only fucking her. What's the youngest you'll go together with? I don't want to talk, because that's a personal thing, because you know. So let's just leave it. Let's just leave it, babe. What's the youngest for you? He's totally young. He's totally a kid. <laughs> he is young as shit. It's a little 18 year old, I'm like a rock star. You know what I mean? 18? Yeah, you know, I'm a rock star. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. I physically date you, I, I feel like I have to be older than you, but you can't be too young. What's the youngest, hon? 18? Like, so like, sex or? Either or, dating and sex. What's that? Sex or this, How old do she have to be to fuck? How old do she have to be to take her serious? 18 and a half. <laughs> and what about, you know what I mean? The half man. What about, half he's, half he's 25, months. he's young. Yeah. Six yeah. months, you know, 18 to six months. Okay, how old do you have to be to take her serious? 29. Yeah, because he's 22 like, and a half, 23. That's just so, again, trap fact. That makes no, it, the, the halves, what the fuck? Six months, that matters. You're not the same person every six months. Fact. Come on, um, I don't know. I'm just with that. I'm, I'm, I, I, you know, I feel like men do it, and I'm with it. So I don't want y'all to be like, because I'm with that. But yeah, that whole thing goes together. Um, but for me, like, yeah, it's the people. It's the people around them. And as far as the music, me personally, I would like to separate people from their art. Like, you like this guy. And he's a rapper. He's a great rapper. It's a guy right now that's buzzing on the radio. All these girls are coming out saying that he kind of like takes he takes the pussy sometimes, which is rape. I don't know if I can say his name or not. Bobby. Google it. It's the truth. Google it. Yeah, like more than five girls with this, and that's the thing about them. People have stories, and the stories are the same. It's like. Mm, I, I I'm like I'm like. Say it. They're lying. They're making. No, it I wasn't. Go, I wasn't gonna say nobody was Smart. lying. I'm just saying there's a lot of drugs over there. Yeah, you saying that with all his teeth out? Just let y'all know at home. He's like, it's a lot of drugs over here. Um, but no, only uh, as far as pedophilia, I think it kind of goes. Thank you so much. I think it kind of goes hand in hand a little bit as far as like in our community, black communities, people don't talk about stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I know that in a family, more than one generation will get molested by the same family member. So the cousins, the older aunts, the sisters, it's like because they keep this nigga in the basement instead of like putting him out or putting him in jail. And then nobody tells on people. And then God forbid if you cuss or you smoke and you tell on somebody, they'll say you made it up. Or, you know, some people hold embarrassment to that point, to the whole family. They'll just hide something like that. And that's why pedophilia can go on and on and on in generations like that, which is not cool. Of course, like, bro, it's like, when you get this to the seriousness of this, it's like, of course I don't support that shit. But, like, I can believe I can fly. Was that my graduation? My nigga, that was my fifth grade graduation song, bro. That's all I'm saying. Like, fuck Robert. You know what I mean? But TP2. If it come down to it and I have to stop listening, I will then. Publicly. But am I really going to tell you all my playlist? No. Apple probably would have to do that for me. <sighs> I don't know. I'm probably getting a big, a lot of flack for that. It's crazy about, like, the internet, like, dragging people. They don't like you, cancel you. I don't care about any of that. That's going to be a wild ride. Because Phelps going to be sweating. He's going to be pissed. Oh, you can't say that. No. Fuck it. I said it. I meant it. They dragging Corey LeRae. Do y'all know who Corey LeRae is? Benzino's daughter. I love her so much. I think she's the cutest little thing, and she wears mullets. 
you got to be cute to wear a mullet. You know what I mean? And the music sounds good sometimes. Whatever. That's everybody. Music is about sounding good. It has nothing to do with lyrics or anything. They drag this little girl on the internet, on the internet a lot. She said the other day online on Twitter that she that she that she doesn't know what she did wrong. They deserve this kind of karma. And when they just stop, makes her wanna die. You know, they did it to like little Yachty, uh Little Baby at first, it was called Mumble Rapper. But, you know, he switched. I don't know what he did. It was too different. But, you know, they started accepting it. So, like, her time will pass. Just wait till somebody new comes. That month. I feel like you can't feed it. You can't pay it that much attention if you are. Really, all for real, for real, as our team, what I would like y'all to put out, like a press release or something, tell that bitch, give me her password. Give me her password. Cut me a small check. I got that shit. Three days, they're going to be off it. That's why I said give me the password. You know what I mean? I'm give me the password and I'll tweet as her is what I'm saying. I'm with that shit. Like I'm with some of y'all come on Twitter and y'all be fucking with me. I will grind you the fuck up. Go look at your picture. Pick your grandmother. I'll talk about your grandmother. I'm fast with the your grand. Is this your grandmother, nigga? Yeah. That bald head bitch. I take it right there. You can say something about me and I can't say nothing about your grandma. Yeah, right, Coyle Ray. Go on their regular pictures. If anything, bitch, put your rollie on it. You know what I mean? She got the rollie with the colors. Post that shit. You don't got this. Broke ass nigga. That's what you do first. You make fun of people with being poor. Because you appear to have money. What I like about Coley Ray the most is that she did not want to, like, come out with my dad's Benzino. Like, she wanted to do it on her own. I like that shit. She hold down her family. I like that. She got her own style. Not really. A little bit kind of. She still fly. Her sound looks like her. You know? She got TikTok challenges. She did the Why You Being Weird to Me twice. Shout out to you. You could have tagged me, bitch, but whatever. Give me your pass where I will cuss these niggas out. That's not your karma to be punished like that. Girl, you don't got to deal with that shit. And take somebody else. Let somebody else run your social media. It does hurt your feelings. Like, I knew I was kind of ugly, but not so I, I didn't know I was ugly, ugly until I went viral. Like, God damn. Oh, shit. Whoa, now I'm ugly as shit. I did not. These motherfuckers will zoom in and tell you how this why your eye ratio to your nose and your lip dry. Like, yeah, yes. I like Botox with this next check I'm getting, nigga. That's what I like. Fuck y'all. I'm about to look good as shit. You know what I mean? You ain't gonna have to do no makeup. You wanna just gloss me up? I'm getting all this worked out. I don't give a fuck. Why not? Why am I not doing that? I just looked online. You can get taller. You can become taller right now. It's painful as a motherfucker. Phelps, I kid you not. You have to crawl for three months. <laughs> because he looked at me like you didn't believe me. Phelps is a little on the short side. I usually date short guys. Like The height thing never really was a thing to me. It wasn't. I've got my first tall guy, the last guy I fuck with, who I need counseling about. You know what I mean? So fuck tall guys. <laughs> fuck them, you know? It's that kind of rage. Like, fuck guys, period. Like, gay pride parade. You know what I'm saying? You ever been hurt like that? You know, ain't some pussy? This close. I'm telling you, Carly, wasn't I about to eat some cat? Where's she at? She know. I was that close, girl. It's that close to a strap on, child. Where was we at? Let's just get out of there. This is crazy. Yeah, but that's it. Whatever. Um, I wanted to talk to y'all a little bit about dating outside your race. I don't want to tell my mom business, but she's dating a white man. She is. I hope my mom don't watch this shit. Yeah, she got a white boy. Well, he watches it, too, and he is such a sweetie. I like him. I like him way more than her. You know what I mean? She's nasty. She always got it. He's very cool, laid-back guy. I like him. Um, I think that I have to date outside my race. I love black men so much. Like, I want them to win, be the president, all that. But my man, no. I can't. Listen, it's a disease called black man's disease. Most of y'all have it. Probably not Dre. Y'all got to follow Dre. Put that there. Because Dre know what's going on, for real. Y'all don't know. that. Do y'all follow Dre? That's exactly why y'all not being good boyfriends and husbands, because you're not following this man. He's giving it out. No time. I don't know. It's y'all, too. 
especially you. You a hoe. You know what I mean? Like, I know he going to be married soon and all that. You are a hoe. Phelps. I was talking about Phelps. Phelps has a lot of fucking. Like, Phelps got a lot of bitches. So. Um, no, but, um, but I remember, um, dating outside your race. Yeah. The reason why it's a disease called black man disease, which is you can't take vital information from a black woman. Did we talk about that here before? Well, let's talk about it again. A lot of you niggas suffer from it. You probably don't even pay any attention. Your, your girlfriend, like the girl you're fucking and your best friend or some guy from the fucking barbershop can give you the same piece of advice and you'll take it from him before you take it from her. You won't even realize you be telling a story. Yeah, babe. So, you know, so this is. Nigga, I told you to get your trucking license three months ago. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, he's hauling bananas. He getting 1500 a haul. Nigga, I just told you that. You can't hear it. It's black man's disease from your nasty relations with women in some kind of way, whether it's your relationship with your cock ass mother or is it your relationship with your sister or your ex or your baby mom or whatever. It causes you to kind of hate black women and you can't take information from a black woman, which puts you in a very dangerous spot because in behind every strong, powerful, successful black man is a black woman. With ashy elbows, putting everything into that motherfucker. That's why her elbows ashy Phelps. Cause she giving all her fucking grease to his ass. You feel me? Can, can it can a role be switched? Fuck no. It's never the other way. It's always a black woman pushing a black man. I'm referring to the yo uh the ash. No, said something about a black man mentality. Black man's disease is what I said. I, I've I've talked to females that like would not consider nothing not say and then they're rich aunt and I tell them that and they'll like jump on it I think that you might have experienced that with one person and I don't think <laughs> it sounds a little PTSD-ish but no judgment here I love you madly um I, I don't think that I think that women we just naturally love to be led by men so it's just not that's not something that's common a woman wants her man to lead her in the right I know as far as my peers a lot of black women we really like even with the submissive thing, like, we ready for that. You just got to stop being a bitch-ass nigga, and then we'll, you can leave. You know what I mean? Like, the minute you pull your skirt down, you could be in charge. You know what I'm saying? That minute. Like, ain't nobody fighting with you, big dick. Because that's what it is that with, for me. I'm a very aggressive, opinionated, intelligent, passionate, successful bitch. So it's like, if I'm telling you something, I'm telling you something. You better listen. For real. Like, what the fuck? Why not listen to me? Why not trust me? I don't look trustworthy to you. Fuck, I don't. I don't. Tom, you don't trust me. Tom, thank you. Thank you. I'm saying... Don't let, like, your ego, like, with me, okay, I'm a little aggressive or whatever, so it ends up like a guy tries to, like, out-tough me. Even if I tell about, like, because back in the day, way back, way about 12, I used to be a criminal, I used to be a crook, I used to go to jail and shit like that. I purposely surround myself with people that are not criminals on purpose because it is people, places, and things at home. That's a fact. If you want to change your life, you got to change who you're around. That don't mean you cut everybody off. You know what I mean? That could be your father. That could be your mother. But you make different decisions to, you know, you know, and that's what I did. I'll meet people and they'll just, I sold weed in 10th grade. Like, nigga, why? I don't give a fuck. Like, why are you telling me every crime that you ever committed because I told you I went to jail? Just sharing that with you, not bragging or, you know what I mean? That's the experience I have with squares, that they want to be in the street. It's such a weird thing. Yes, Phelps? Is, is your interracial dating have anything to do with Wanting a new experience or just getting away from bad black men? My interracial dating has everything to do with my personality. I really don't think a black man can handle me. Like, seriously. I, I, don't, I don't think that it's like a can handle me. And I love black men. Like, that's what I need people to know. This is like out of desperation. I feel like you have to, be a, you have, to have a certain amount of humility to deal with this kind of bitch. And you have to have, like, patience. Everything wrong with a black man. Tell what what is there in other men that interest you? Do you need to be stronger? Do you need what, to be what interests you in the Asian man? What interests you in the Spanish? They don't. We don't. I don't feel like it'll turn into a dick measuring competition where it's like who's going out tough. I think they would enjoy me for who I am, and it wouldn't affect the kind of man they were. Like they wouldn't have to be extra aggressive because I'm aggressive. I went on a date with a guy this summer. Okay, and if you're watching this, I know you are. I want you to know I'm talking about you. I used to call you Poppy for a nickname, just in case. I want you to know it's you. 
You had a very hairy back. Fuck you. But he would shove me. Like, when we would joke around, he would, like, shove me. Like, it wouldn't be, like, a real hit, but he totally thought that was cool to be like, come on, nigga, with a punch. I kid you not. You suck at dating. You were the worst person I've ever met in my life. We're, oh, we're eating. Oh, please. I don't even want to get all the way. Like, well, fuck it. I'll just tell you. We smoking pot in the car. You know what I mean? People smoke pot in cars. You know what I mean? And I'm like, you want to eat something. So where do you go when you smoke a pot in the car? You go to the fucking chicken shack. Right? You got flip-flops, you smoke a pot in the car. This motherfucker takes me to a five-star restaurant downtown. What the fuck are you? We can't even get in here with these flip-flops. We smell like weed, nigga. Just weird, show-off, strange shit. Because I'm famous now. You know what I'm saying? That's why I think I should fuck a rapper. It's not like I just want to fuck a rapper. I just think it would fit my new lifestyle. You know what I mean? I know y'all going to chew me up for the date in outside my race. I don't give a fuck. And honestly, if you want to apply the phone number that you leave for your little shit, leave your fucking number. You know what I mean? I'll go on a date with your little ass. And I don't have a problem with short guys, Asian guys, white guys, Spanish guys, all that shit. Yes, including Native Americans. You smell Hindus, Pujamis? They wouldn't like me. They, I'm open to whatever. You know what I mean? I'm open to whatever. I think we should do a fine moment that man thing. And I think Dre should be in total control over it. And then we go on a date with like a hit and mic. Do we have the budget for that? And you could talk in my ear. Because I'm going to need help. Like, I don't know how to first. Like, I'm more like, you want to fucking buy me stuff? He like, what? Would you like to do it to me after you buy me a couple of things for security to make me know that you really like me? Sometimes they say yes. Don't they, Carly? They be with it. Fuck it. You know what I mean? Scratch my back. I'll scratch yours. You might scratch each other's. You know what I'm saying? No, it's like, how do I know you like me if you don't buy me stuff? How the fuck am I know you like me? Seriously. How do you know a man likes you if he doesn't buy you shit? He told you. <laughs> Get this nigga raised. He is so funny. That was trap again. Trap back. But how do you know a man likes you? When you like a girl, how do you show her? You lick her butt, you buy her stuff, correct? Yeah, it's a conversation. Why are you lying? How do you show a woman that you like her for real? Because that's not true. Where the fuck are we at? Dre, how do you let her know? Look, Dre, how did you let your beautiful fiance, is a wife or fiance? I don't remember. Wife, and she's a bad bitch. But how do you, how do you let her know that you liked her? Yeah. Like from the gate. And she's bad. Thank you. Thank you. Intangible. How much You're looking for the tangible so bad. Oh, intangible. How much did that call? Exactly. So what is so basically you told her like I just want to fuck with you only. You show her. What? Ooh ooh. Cause see when I sit with the nigga, I sit like that. You hear me? So Dre come and sit like this here. He ain't worried about it. All right. Shit. Yeah. Um, I don't you should follow Dre. Dre knows what he's doing. Time to. Time to. Tom, how do you show your lady that you liked her? Did you take her to Miami and give her five days to get? I got Ray J, John B, and Nivea to sing happy Yes, he did. Bay money. Money! South Philly in here. Money. Money's a part of it, Dre. Is the money a part of it? I know he did. Girl, I was on his Instagram at 3 in the morning, scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. I ain't double tap. I was being newsy. I can't let this motherfucker know I was all the way in 2017. You know what I mean? I was all in his business. Whatever. Um, do y'all want to know what I did over the weekend? Because I did want to talk about that a little bit. I know I'm getting so many different jobs, but I can now add video vixen or video ho to the list. I did a rap video. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I was all in the video. They didn't let me twerk. The rapper's name Passion, P from the Nine. Shout out to P from the Nine. Tweeting, typing, it was so cool. Like it was good. It was great because I was rapping the lyrics. I, I didn't twerk. I wanted to. They didn't need it. 
how does that feel? You go to the video shoot and offer to shake your ass. And they like, nah, just just sit up and make eye contact with the camera. Don't don't bend over. Turn around. No, 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 no. Just sit. We don't need that from you. You know what I mean? I was like the old bitch in the video. Like I was the one like, girl, do you do what you gotta do. Stay in school. I was pissed. I did not want to do that. I wanted to do like, you know what I mean? Yeah, ratchet. Yeah. Yo, I'm like, what time we go to the strip club? They like, no, we're gonna do this scene. I'm like, what? Whatever. They didn't even let me kill anybody. The video looks pretty cool though. I'm doing videos. I'm doing videos. You can add that to the list. And that was really, really cool. Um, I really enjoyed that. I also hosted a fucking twerk off. Oh my god, I, ho- I hosted a twerk off at a now let me let you know. I have to let you know the the kind of club we're in. So I'll describe it this way. Even the girls that didn't come in strip clothes, they still stripped out their sweatsuits. We were in that kind of club. Like, them bitches came up out of tights. Like, bitches was dancing with jean marks on them. Like, they slid up out of jeggings. For me, it got crazy. And then I had to pick the winner, right? Listen. I had to shout out to Hot Shot. Okay, it was Hot Shot's event, North Philly. Um, it was so many women, so many contestants. And I'm going to keep it real. Carly, them bitches came to fucking compete. Okay? And, I, and of course, they're following all the COVID restrictions. So I'm smack dab in the middle of like at least 33 ass cheeks. Just, you know what I mean? Butt juice, sweat everywhere. And it's just me. And a mic in a sea of bitches. And me and Phelps locked eyes, and that's how I knew who to pick. <laughs> I picked the biggest bitch out there. I picked the bitch that was a 16, baby. It was a six. Hey, hey, it was a 16 out there, motherfucker. Plus size, baby. Butt naked. That bitch ain't had nothing on her waist beads. Guess what she got for me? A for effort. I like it. You biggest shit out here. And when I sat down, he was so upset. Trap was like, what the fuck are you doing? It was lime green. And it probably really was lime green. But Phelps said it was body, big body bins. Please don't crash. Okay, BBW. Type of suck you off, eat some lunch with you. That was a big bitch. Shout out to her. She won $500. Yay, Belinda. Butt naked. It was worth it. I don't know, but she was huge. How can I be a fat girl all my motherfucking life? I love this lady, right? Brown skin. You know I love your brown skin. Oh, God. Well, yeah, shout out to her. She won 500 bucks. That was pretty cool. What are we going to manifest? $50,000. Distance. Amen. COVID policies. Less butt sweat and waist beat. No, I need 50 bands. I got to get some stuff done. I need a car. Niggas get to talking amongst themselves. You need to get restless. I need a car. I need a man. I need money. Listen, I lost my Instagram. It's fucking with my money. You know you're not supposed to tell people you broke. I'm poor. I need that fucking page. I got people shit to post, Mark Zuckerberg. Fuck them people, man. Fuck them people, man. I need my fucking page back. I'm still arguing with y'all what I said about Boosie a couple weeks ago. Boosie like my cousin. I've been down forever. You niggas know the lyrics to betray? No, you don't. Dear Lord, I've been betrayed. It's like they beat me like a slave. Y'all don't know Boosie. I can say what I said about Boosie. Buy that nigga's movie if you really want to hang from his nuts. And I said what I said. And I also want you people at home to know I don't care how people come. Maybe you should maybe you should take that thought process too. In the world we could get along. You know what I mean? Don't worry about what Johnny doing to get off. Worry about what you doing. Are we doing dark side of the DM? <laughs> what? It went over your heads? Because I get a lot of shit about gay people. People really, people literally, and that's how I know gay people deal with so much hate because people hate me for just not hating them. I've had people DM me, you're going to go to hell for supporting those Fs. 
straight like that. It's like I don't care how people come. I don't. You're not going to make me feel that kind of way. I'm Muslim by faith, and my religion is against my religion. That's something people have to deal with God. I'm okay with that. Me personally, I feel like that people are born gay. I think people are born feeling like the opposite sex, trans, whatever. That's like me. I'm trans vaccinated. I identify with being vaccinated, although I haven't physically gotten vaccinated. You can't take that shit from me. You sure can't. So, boop. And I can't take away, if you come up in this motherfucker tomorrow with a number eight, hustler, cut. You feel me? What the fuck I'm going to do if you come in here with waves tomorrow? I'm going to call you bro and keep it moving. Because I fuck with you. I like how you do my makeup. I'm not judging you for that. You want to grow a penis? You want to cut your titties off? Cut them shits, girl. I'm wrong for not caring about the girl. Please, listen. Y'all can say what y'all want about me. That's how I feel. That's it. We're going to wrap that up. We're not going to do that every week. All you homophobes in my DM and shit, you better get the fuck on. Get the fuck up out of here. I don't want to cause no controversy. Don't then. I just feel like the only way for a black male in America to get a little bit more respect is... To be gay. Yeah. Like, it's like it's, it became a whole race, and it's like they're over African-American. This, that's is, how I just this is what I will say. I do feel like the gay struggle, and I know we have to go, guys. I do feel like the gay struggle some kind of way has surpassed the nigga struggle. Like, some kind of way it's like a, a harder thing to deal with, or they get more hate. And it's sad because why are we comparing our pain like that, right? But the truth is... A Negro is born into that for real. He has no control over the color of his skin. There's nothing he could do about that. He could pretend to be um, straight if he's gay, but you cannot pretend to be uh, white, can you? He can't dip himself in paint. He's going to look weird with that damn fro. You feel me? It's going to pop out. Die blind or not, they know that's a black man. You feel what I'm saying? So that's why nothing trumps that. Plus, clearly we had it worse than everybody else. Like, everybody knows we had it terrible. Oh, we had a terrible. Where's our reparations? Let's talk about that next time. All right. They gave us 40 acres and more, and they took it back. That's what happened. When they when they killed Abraham Lincoln, when they assassinated Abraham Lincoln, they reversed it. They reversed it. That's probably wrong, but still, similar, something like that happened. Didn't something like that happen? They gave it to us, and then they took it back, basically. It was a law at first. You're not sure. I respect your honesty. He would have just said, no. 75% of the, the politicians back then said, that's why I love track. Do y'all want to do Dark Side of the DM or not? I'll do it. Um, my DM, my Dark Side of my DM said, um, that's totally fake. Y'all believe everything. I'll just tap it. Tap, tap, tap. It's here. Um, the Dark Side of the DM is somebody DM me and said, hey, I don't think we should start a podcast or we should do a podcast together or whatever. It's constant. I get it a lot. Listen, of course you want to do a podcast with me. I'm fucking popping. Like, I've had famous people call me for It's like nobody gave a fuck about me when I was Ubering to the last motherfucking situation. You know what I mean? Nobody gave a fuck about me when this was in the pot cooking and shit in fucking January. You follow what I'm saying? So... Fuck no, you can't be on a podcast with me. Why don't you do some motherfucking work instead of looking at people and just wanting what they have or what it appears that they have and wanting to just jump in it. How the fuck you even know you want to do a fucking podcast till you read what the fuck a podcast is and go try out? I'm going to say this again. My nigga Tom Flies had a free podcast motherfucking class where you got a free hour of recording time. It's three niggas in there. He couldn't pay them bitches to come. But y'all in some DM saying give me a shot. It's not real. You got to work at it, bitch. I know this looks like overnight nice success. I've been out here since September 2018. That's I'm winning now. God bless me because I deserve it. Fuck y'all. That's it.